Usually you hear about celebrating man's accomplishment because men in the past have always done things first. So when I hear about celebrating women, it's exciting because even more nowadays, um, they're doing things first. The Women's History Month to me is a very important milestone to uh, recognize and give props to all the women around the world who have big achievements. Like the president of Argentina, who is a female, and many other women who had impacted the world over the years. Are there any specific women in history that you look up to? Rosa Parks, Op Oprah Winfrey, Amelia Earhart, Nichelle Nichols, I believe that's how you pronounce her name. Um, she was the very first African American on uh, African American woman on television. Women's National History Month. I was saying, I was like, what is that? I think it should be like broadcast more mainstream. Women's History Month started as a national celebration in 1981 when Congress passed a law which authorized and requested the president to proclaim the week beginning March 7, 1982 as Women's History Week. Throughout the next five years, Congress continued to pass joint resolutions designating a week in March as Women's History Week. In 1987, after being petitioned by the National Women's History Project, Congress passed another law which designated the month of March 1987 as Women's History Month. Between 1988 and 1994, Congress passed additional resolutions requesting and authorizing the president to proclaim March of each year as Women's History Month. Since 1995, Presidents Clinton, Bush, and Obama have issued a series of annual proclamations designating the month of March as Women's History Month. Every year, the National Women's History Project selects a unifying theme to be shared with all who want to promote women's history. This year's theme, Weaving the Stories of Women's Lives, presents the opportunity to weave women's stories individually and collectively into the essential fabric of our nation's history. 2015 is the National Women's History Project's 35th anniversary. In celebration of this landmark anniversary, they have chosen nine women as 2015 honorees who have contributed in very special ways to the work of writing women back into history. Let's take a little quiz on the accomplishments of these honorees. Who founded her own record company? Hallie Neer is a singer, songwriter, and a social activist who has inspired generations with music that chronicles progressive activism of the late 20th and early 21st centuries. Neer is recognized for her contributions as a music publisher of Redwood Records, which produced albums for more than two decades. Who documented the unsung roles of women working within the national park system? Polly Welts Kaufman, a writer, teacher, and activist, has designed women history trails, including the Boston Women's Heritage Trail. She has also documented the unsung roles of women working within the national park system. Who wrote A Century of Struggle? Eleanor Flexner was a historian and independent scholar. Her groundbreaking 1959 book, Century of the Struggle, the women's right movement in the United States marked her as a pioneer in the field of women's studies. Who wrote a best-selling book about Sally Ride? Lynn Sher, an American broadcast journalist and author. And Susan B. Anthony slept here 1976, Sher recognized the importance of reclaiming and visiting women's historical landmarks. Her best-selling book, Sally Ride, America's First Woman in Space, 2014, is the only adult biography of that path-breaking woman. Who was the first African-American to have a regular column in a major newspaper? Delilah L. Beasley was a newspaper columnist and historian. She was the first African-American woman to be regularly published in a major metropolitan newspaper and the first author to present the history of African-Americans in early California. Who collected tribal records and documents that in 1994 proved to be critical to the success of the Mohegan tribe's campaign to gain federal recognition? Throughout her life, Tanta Quijin collected tribal records and documents that in 1994 proved to be critical to the success of the Mohegan tribe's decades-long campaign to gain federal recognition. Who is the oral historian who documented the life stories of a Chinese American woman? Judy Young is an oral historian, author, and professor. She is best known for her groundbreaking work in documenting 
the immigration history of Angel Island and the life stories of Chinese American women. Who was recently awarded the Humanities Medal by President Obama? Darlene Clark Hine is a historian and educator who was recently awarded the Humanities Medal by President Obama. Hine has dozens of works to her credit, most notably an encyclopedia of African American history. Who is an educator and a pioneer in Latina history? Vicky Ruiz is an educator and pioneer in Latina history. She earned a PhD in history at, this, at Stanford in June of 1982. Two months later, she showed up for her first teaching position with a baby on her hip and another on the way. Over the course of three decades, Ruiz has been a major force in shaping the field of Chicana history. I actually wasn't too much informed about it, but now knowing this, I'm a little more inclined to look it up. And it sounds interesting because I am a woman on my own, but the history of women is, is relevant.